Okay, the one thing I do notice is the uh, rabbit's head is just a little too far forward on his body. And uh, I'm going to have to set him back a little bit. I don't know if I can do it or not. I'm going to try. I've got to take his neck off and redo the neck without destroying the ears, which I just did on that side. Oop. Okay. Now, I'll be right back. Time to play with some play. It's a constant game of adjustments. That's all you do. Okay, I'm gonna try to get this in here. The weakest part of this armature is his head and neck. And uh gotta be very careful with it. If I can find my tool to be careful with. There we are. You can't be afraid to make changes. This is the uh, photograph of a running rabbit that I found that I realized the head wasn't stretched out in front. It was right back almost over its shoulders. So anyway, that's why I'm making the change. Okay. Little puff of fur right here by the leg. Now, the leg is really thin, but it still has some muscular to it. Not very much. I was just talking to an artist friend of mine down in Texas. And uh, she says there's a lot of rabbits down there, jackrabbits. They're actually not a rabbit. They're classified as a hare. And uh, I think somebody in Africa, I think it was in Africa, Made a comment yesterday in a bit in, under the video and uh, yesterday and said they got jackrabbits down in uh, Africa, I think Southern Africa, if I'm not mistaken. Except they're endangered down there. If 
you're hungry and you see a jackrabbit going by, they got a lot of meat on. That's dinner. In fact, I'm thinking of calling this piece, There Goes Dinner. <laughs> I don't know if that would work, though. Somebody said I had delicate fingers. <laughs> or working like I got delicate fingers. I don't know. But I never considered my fingers to be all that delicate. In fact, I don't know if any part of my body is delicate. <sighs> yeah, I like his head positioning better now. Before, before I thought it looked like it might be out too far. Especially after all the pictures I've been looking at of jackrabbits. problem with having a camera so close to my face as I'm working on a clay <clears throat> is all my old man or old person breathing sounds come through loud and clear. It sounds like I'm dying, but I'm not just exerting. If you think holding your arms up all day is easy <laughs> at 78 years old, you'll find out that it isn't. Although I'm a little more adapt to it than somebody who hasn't done it all their life. I've got to get the rabbit to the point where he's pretty much done before I can put him on the base permanently. And uh, so that's why I'm taking so much time here. <clears throat> now this is where the most of the muscles are, is right here in the legs. Okay, I've taken the... Uh rabbit off of the uh, mount or the uh, contraption I can't think of what to call it right now and I'm just hitting areas that need to be hit Some kind of bird outside. I don't know what it is, but it's making a weird noise.
Well, I think that's it. As far as a rabbit goes for now. Let's see what it looks like hooked up on the uh, clay. That looks pretty good. I stuck another piece of wood underneath the uh, rabbit uh, mount because the rabbit was down below the ground level on this wood, so I had to bring them up to the ground level, and now it works fine. All right. I think what I'm going to do before I do anything else is uh, start on the head of the cowboy and try to get that uh, to a point where I'm happy with a new head, maybe. Okay, I'm just going to block in the uh, head right now. And I've got my tape, my measure for the head length. And that's from the bottom of his chin to the top of his head. And that's how big it should be. And I think I'm going to keep the hat off the head of the cowboy because it just hides too much of his face. And uh, I might have his hat look like it's flying off his head or something. I'm not sure yet. I think probably all I'm going to have time to do is get the, the head blocked in because it took me a lot of time to figure out what to do on this and how to do it properly. Every time you sculpt something, you, you do things differently than you do, did before the last time. Not before the last time. You do things differently from the... I, I could never be an instructor in a school. I can't talk. My talking is in clay. Okay. Ah. So I guess what tomorrow will bring is I'll work on the head of the cowboy, the new one, and uh, see how far I can get on that. I might make his head just a little smaller than proportional because I want it to look right and uh, I think it's probably best to be just a hair smaller than it's supposed to be and have it too big. As you're working on the head of a subject or something like that, sometimes you get carried away and the head gets bigger than it's supposed to be. Anyway, I've got it marked out on a board right here in front of me how big the head should be. And see, I've already got it too big. So, I'll take it down a little. It doesn't take much to overdo something. All right. So I think you can see the size difference in the uh, old head and the uh, new head. Um, it's it's a little bit bigger, certainly wider, and uh, it was a good head, but it just too uh, too big. So I'm going to set this one aside. And uh, I'll save it for something else, maybe. <laughs> All right. Good night, everybody. And I'll see you tomorrow. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. 
it will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.